We're, this is like, we're going to keep this so super simple. So I hope I can just do that. Um, all right, so here we have this text right here, and we're going to change it from a, a flat two-dimensional type to three-dimensional type <laughs> pop. We're going to make it pop. Um, and it's really easy. This file is also included in your practice files. So here's what we start with. So to make it work, guess what? You get the type tool. And I'm just going to, you can just see here, this is just a, a regular type layer. To make it 3D, there's a couple different routes you can take. But basically up here in the options bar, this is the most direct route, there's a little button here, 3D. I'm just going to click it. And it says, you're about to switch to the 3D workspace. I don't want to switch to the whole workspace, so I'm going to say no. But it'll still make it 3D. I just don't want it to like hijack my entire panels and all of that. So here we see some crazy, um, all kinds of planes going on. So there's all kinds of visual indicators for that. But we're keeping it really simple. I'm just going to put my cursor here, click, and rotate. No, I'm not. Hold on. We have to get back to the uh, right segment, pop. Well, this is where it gets tricky, I guess. I'm grabbing the wrong thing. Pop. Let's go to environment. No, current view. All right. <laughs> well, if you can grab the right bit, maybe this guy. There we are. It's a little easier if you do it down here. When I try to grab in here, because you're working with like all the different planes, so you can grab it and tip it forward, backwards, sideways, like all this stuff, I have a very hard time telling which plane I'm grabbing and which plane I'm affecting. So you can see how messy that is. But if you come down here to this bottom left and you just click right here, you can see they've got red. Uh, red, blue, and green. But if you click down here, it's a little easier to isolate what you're trying to do. So that would be my recommendation. This gets a little hairy. But anyway, down here, we're orbiting the 3D camera. So you can change the direction of your type. Isn't that just amazing? And you can see, look at, look at this 3D, like, here's the plane passing us by. We're going below ground now. Woo. So anyway, it's kind of wild. So I like to have it kind of like this. And you can also um, adjust, adjust what's called the extrusion, which is how deep this is. If you open your properties panel from window, properties, and then in your 3D panel, which you may have not even knew, known that you had, but it'll open when you make something 3D. You don't have to go into the whole 3D workspace. You can just open your little 3D panel. If you make sure that you've got your object selected, and you'll see all this crazy stuff, OK? So that's why we're keeping it simple, because you could probably teach a week on just this. And I'm not your girl for that. <laughs> but if we select pop right here, because um, that's the type layer that we're working with, and we make sure we're the 3D panel, we've got pop selected, we've got this option right here selected, uh, then I can come into my properties panel and here's the extrusion depth. So maybe I just want it kind of shallow or maybe I want it crazy huge. So you can just really play with all that stuff. I'm going to close this now. And then um, you can see here's, here's where if you want to try to mess with the hairiness, you can see like you can grab all these different things. But I, have a, I can't for the life of me ever grab the right thing. So this is my my way to go. But once you're done, there's no OK button. I mean, to get out of this craziness, you just uh, like switch tools. And then uh, life is back to normal. <laughs> so it's a little bit crazy how you get in there. But if you grab the Move tool and you're on um, a 3D layer, it's going to pop up all this, all this craziness. So just kind of know that, I guess. And then this guy right here is going to let you move the object. So even though you have the move tool, that really just puts you back in the 3D world. Um, and then within the 3D world, you use these tools and all this crazy business to do all kinds of things.